Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Karthik. So let's start learning. In this tutorial, we will see Hybrid B2C installation. So this is the zip file. So we need to unzip it and always use 7-zip for unzipping because 7-zip is a good tool for unzipping a file which contains a numerous amount of other files related files so we, this hybrid package contains different kind of files and there are number of small files large files inside so if you use WinZip or other tools, there are chances to miss some file and it will give trouble. So the unzipping has started and depending on your system configuration, speed and all, it will take time. So as you can see the unzipping process has been completed 100% extracted so now we will proceed for the next step so we need to go to installer path we have to open cmd then we need to be the command the command is install.bat space hyphen r space the b2c accelerator name after typing the command just hit enter the process will get start and it will take some time according to your system configuration RAM, processor and all it must end with build successfully If it got aborted or if it got unsuccessful, then there might be some files missing or something which uh, had been done during unzipping. So, here you can see the folders config, data, log, rows, them. So this has been created. Previously, only bin folder was there. So, in local dot extension, you can see the required extension has been added for B2C accelerator. So we have to remove the accelerator name start from Y. So now we need to go to bin folder which is under hybrids then platform open CMD we need to set the ant environment so the command is set and env dot bat it will set the ant environment so that ant command will be recognized in the cmd
so it will just set the home folder for end now end space module gen so module is accelerator name is training package com dot hybris dot training this is a standard way of giving the package name com dot hybris training is user defined you can change as you wish and template should be developed now hit enter so it will take certain amount of time depending on your system specifications ram cpu etc so you can see the build is successful see the extensions got created after module 10 so we need to copy this and we need to open local extensions.xml file under config directory and you need to add the extension which got generated after and module 10 to here to formatting so for all this kind of formatting notepad plus plus is very good tool it is easy and good to format So after this you need to uh, perform a build by giving and clean all which will remove all the dot class file and it will again create all the files and it will, as well as it will check for the directory structures. If the directory structure is already present, it will not do anything. If it is not present, it will create the directory structure and perform the task. So, after you get the build successful, after and clean all, you need to restart start the file server giving this command file server dot bet and space debug debug for allowing a debug mode so you can see now the server has been started in this much may be seen. so now it comes for 
initialization step we need to put the above url we'll open hscv for the very first time and the window will be for initialization so just put toggle all and start inside you can do initialization to method you can do from command form as well this is and space initialize or you can do it from jp as well so i'm going to match it so just make sure this is for the first time this one we are inspecting if it contains data it will remove all the data so inspection step will remove all the data all the tables in the world and it will recreate the schema the tables in the hierarchy system so now the installation has been finished put showing continue button it took 57 minutes I'm clicking. So it will bring the login page of HTTP. So the default password will be admin. Username will be admin. And password will be Linda. So you can see the main page. You can see the uptime. It will show uptime there. So after the server has been started, installation has been done. For viewing the site, there is one more step we need to do that for bringing the site live on the browser. So you need to go to C drive. So there will be a host file. We need to edit that file. So C drive window system thirty two. And we need to check the folder with main drivers. Under driver etc, and here is the host file. We need to edit. So you we'll can see this one power two. Just like saying, we need to give to give for apparel and electronics. So now open the browser and hit the link. We will get the site up and running. There is apparel dot local colon. Nine double zero two slash training slogan slash question mark site equal to apparel hyphen UK. So you can see the full fledged a sample website is already given by Hybris. So we need to customize thing and we need to change. Do I if we want as our wish or as uh, project requirements? We need to customize things. So thanks for watching my video. Do like, share, comment, and subscribe for more such videos. See you then. Bye bye.